Wait, one time, make sure I'm recording. I should be recording now. Okay, hello, welcome back to some bus snow. Hopefully, you are all doing okay today and staying safe, my pillows and tools. So, last episode, we went hiking, and it kind of got a little depressing. I'm not sure. But we became basically like a watcher from afar, or an evader. I'm not sure how to describe it. You just have to see last episode. What well, Eve wave to her father as the, his car disappears down the road. Eve takes my hand in hers as we start off down the street. With well, the weather particular nice today and Eve needing to burn off some energy, we decided to take a grand tour of the local town. Her pace is thankfully slower than her sister's. With my sore legs needing a rest after the excursion yesterday, I had wanted to do this for Valeen, but she couldn't be dissuaded from painting in her room. There wasn't much fight in me to argue with her, so that was like that. Sorry, I was just checking something there. Maybe some time away from her is for the best. Even people who like each other sometimes need a break, I think. The old wooden storefronts hardly loom over us, being mostly just a couple stories tall themselves, dwarfed by the forested hills behind. Strolling around is much nicer way to take it in than clutching to rows on the back of her bike. <laughs> it's nice here. <coughs> Kinda boring sometimes though. Thinking about it, I could see that being the case for a child, a few people out and today are basically all green older folks hobbling along. As I look around us, such a pleasant atmosphere has its downsides. My thing is up interrupted by a ping from my pocket. As we stop for a moment, I pluck my phone from my pocket and unlock it. You know, pluck word. <laughs> Hi Alison, how are things? Who is it? Just my dad asking how I'm doing. As she stands on her tiptoes, trying to look over the phone in curiosity, I get an idea. Crouching over and bringing the phone with her lev level with her, as she sets herself back down, I try to hold it steady. I send him a photo, stay still. In response, Eve fixes her posture to stand up prim and proper, dusting herself off to look good, look as good as possible. It's charming how seriously she takes this. With a tap and a click, the photo saved and quickly sent on to my dad as a message. Friends, sister, show me around. Sounds like fun. Sounds like you're having fun. Yup, yay. Our things there. Back home, safe and sound. Your brothers are driving us nuts. We'll be glad to have you back. Sounds like things are the same as ever then. See you in a few days. Miss you. Take care, enjoy the last of your trip. I smile and lock the phone once more. Slipping it back where it belongs. I have to stop myself from counting down the days left here. I don't want to start regretting this trip. And once again, wishing I was home. Hey, what's your family like? Hmm. Totally different, I say. That much. I have mum, dad, three brothers, and a cat. We all live in the city, and it's really busy and noisy every day. They're nice, so it'll be good to be back home. Satisfied with my answer, Eve pulls me forward as we begin our tour in earnest. As she points out this and that, though my thoughts aren't about Eve or my family, but stuck on wanting to do this with Aline. Just as it was whenever I watched her paint, I feel like I'm watching her life from outside rather than sharing our time together. 
I don't doubt that she likes me. She certainly likes me in physical sense. I like those times too. But I feel like I'm the only one who wants to become closer and more than just physical sense. I'm the one who planned our first date and the one who asked to come here. Now I'm wondering if Lean ever even wanted any of this. The one time I thought Lean wanted to share something with me, she was just using me to distract herself from her problems. Problems that she wouldn't talk to me about. All I can do is say, what's wrong? Just a shame your sister was busy, that's all. Allison! Is Lean having a good time in college? Huh? Why do you ask? Mom said she was worried about Aline since she moved out. But when Aline's around, they always argue. Oh. Is she really alright? Eve says this with genuine worry in her voice. Aline's parents really do care about her, even if she doesn't think so sometimes. Aline's fine. Every day she's making pretty paintings and having fun with friends. And she's helped me a lot since I met her. Aline's always been fine now that I think about it. Ever since we met, I've merely watched her as she lived her life. Since getting together, has anything really changed? For all our intimacy, she still treats me in the same, the same way she always has. All while relentlessly pursuing her ambition. No, I can't think like that. I'm getting myself wound up. Your parents are nice, aren't they? She gives an enthusiastic nod. They think you're nice too, since you hang out with me. <laughs> At least they think I'm useful, I suppose. I never realized it before, but having a little sister is really fun. Not that I mind my own siblings, but three older brothers aren't quite the same company. <laughs> Let's see some more of town before we have to go back then, okay? Gotcha! Yay. Finally back from our trip after a bus ride back. Eve bounds through the door. Well, bounce, yeah. Bounds through the door as I drag myself in and close it behind us. I don't know how kids have so much energy. Aline stands with a glass of water looking non puzzled plus non plus non puzzled at our entrance before noticing the new book held tightly under Eve's arm as she skips over to the living room sofa. Allison You didn't. I can spare that much money. It can be her Christmas present for me. You're enjoying having a little sis, aren't you? She got me. How's the painting going? <sighs> Nice to go. Need to go down to the city soon for supplies and stuff. No art supply stores around here. Want to come? Wait one second. So I'm along for the ride as usual. I feel bad for thinking bad thoughts about her, but I can't muster any real want to come along. I'd just be baggage while she did her thing. Sorry. Alright, still tired from yesterday. Sure. Do yourself. I'll be straight back afterwards. We're having pizza for dinner tonight, by the way. Ah, good. The two of us briefly wonder how to continue conversation, but I can't think of anything to add. Just message in there. With that, she wanders back to her room to keep painting. I feel like I should follow, at least to see how her painting's coming along. But my feet feel stuck. I have to mill about alone as Eve can be heard happily humming to herself from the sofa. I decide to. Sorry, getting a fly out of the way. To turn around and head 
back out the door for some air. The warm afternoon air is starting to fade by now, causing me to push my hands into my pockets to try and save whatever warmth I can. At the rate the weather's gone, it's sure going to be a cold Christmas. At least the snowmen are liking it, still standing tall as they guard Aline's house from the front yard. It's easy to lose. Stupid fly, I tell you. Spacious, but I suppose. Wait, it's easy to lose sight of when inside. But her house sure is big. Even the yard's pretty spacious, but I suppose living so far from town would help that. A nice house, enough money to live alone on her parents' name. Trips all the way to Germany. Eline really did get a good start in life compared to me. It annoys me a little that she doesn't seem to see that, especially when her parents paying for her apartment. Painting alone in her room. Hiking alone in the woods. Living alone in a apartment too, big enough, well big for one person. Is that really independence moving out away from her parents but still relying on them for everything? Try as I might get try as I might to get closer to Aline, I can't help but feel like I'm just hang hanging around here. Or you know, this is like the depressing you know, look here. When I'm looking at her back, is it just because she's always ahead of me? Why she? Why shouldn't she turn around to look at me? I wonder what re I really am to Aline. The fact that I can't work out a answer makes me restless. As a lump starts to form in my throat, I quickly decide to wander back inside. All I'm doing is making myself feel worse by dwelling on all this. I should make the most of my time here, given I only have a few days left. And that is where we shall end off for now, I'll tell you. Sorry to keep it short. But hopefully you enjoyed us. Have a nice day, safe, hope it's possible. Good searches, you guys are very important. And bye bye, see you next time. Bye bye, see you soon. Bye bye.